Columbia, the famously hot capital city of South Carolina, has plenty of firsts. The first planned city, the first city named after Christopher Columbus, the first city to have an electrically powered textile mill in the world, etc. Tonight we witness another first for the city, the first Main Street block party. Fire and ice, shadows of the night, and love is a battlefield. What do these three things have in common? Uh, they're song titles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But that was my guess. Well, from the middle one, I'd say relationships, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Opposites. I don't know, good time. Pop songs from the early 80s? 1980s music, I believe. Can you name the singer? Oh, boy. It's this kind of interview. Hmm. It's not Pat Benatar, but I want to go in that direction. Am I close? Oh, what do you know? I'm, be I'm betraying my age. That's kind of embarrassing. Yes, Pat Benatar. OK. Cool. What do you call those plastic things on the ends of shoelaces? Oh, forget it. I don't know. Shoe ends? I don't know. Annoying when they start breaking apart. That's about it. I don't even have a guess for that one. What else you got? <laughs> no clue. No clue? No clue. Do you want to make something up? Uh, plasticies. Ooh. Something that I have given a lot of thought to. Tabs? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you the answer in a minute. Nor do I care. Some of the best advice recommends walking 10,000 steps every day to stay healthy. That may sound like a lot, until you realize you already walk three to 4,000 a day anyway. With every additional 10 minutes you walk, you're another 1,000 steps closer to a longer, healthier life. Hi, Giovanna here. Your Columbia Marketplace is all about business. Your business. Call us today at 803-400-3100 to highlight your business and see what it's all about. Channel 7, Your Columbia Marketplace. Thinking about buying a home? Before you look, make sure you've brushed up on your home selling language. Beware of adjectives such as cozy or spacious that sound good but really don't tell you anything about the property. Look for words that describe what's in the house, such as granite or maple. These descriptors give you an idea of what the home has to offer. BCNN Home Smart Tips brought to you by Cable Vantage. For smart advertising tips, call Cable Vantage today. Let's play charades. Next to right. You gotta be fair with the cat. Okay. So let's see you act like a cat who's giving itself a bath. <laughs> I don't want to lick my shirt, but something like that. Don't have any hair? Yeah. 
It had a beginning, middle, and the end. Like yeah, that. You got I that. love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does the WD and WD40 stand for? I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm drawing a blank too. I know it's like a lubricant. I've used that stuff all my life and I have no idea. Uh, I'd have to call my dad, I really don't know. Can you help me out with this one? WD? Yeah. I, yeah. You're asking the wrong person okay. there. It stands for water displacer. Who the hell knows that? YouTubers, email me your questions and your comments at youtube.com backslash cablevantage. The hit show, All the Street has the people of Columbia talking. I'd get a hair transplant. A capital place to live. Lizard man. You never know what is going to happen when Giovanna hits the streets of Columbia. See your friends and neighbors do their best to answer some of the funniest questions on TV. So this is America, and we Catch all the craziness of On the Street exclusively on your Columbia Marketplace, Time Warner Cable, Channel 7. Oh, oh, oh. You're on Facebook, right? Friend us on Facebook at On The Street. What does hippopotamonstrosis cupidaliophobia stand for? Hmm. I personally, if I had that disorder, would be afraid of rising out of water and opening it on my mouth at strangers. Large hips. Something you picked up from hanging out with hippopotamuses late at night at a shady bar. Maybe you shouldn't have gone home with that particular hippopotamus, but you did, and that's all I can think. You don't have health insurance, things are not looking good. It's, uh, you know. Okay. That's all I got. Uh, yeah, his answer was the best. Okay. Yeah. Hippopotamuses, but it's something to do with kip but whatever. I don't know. Fat women with big feet? I don't, I don't have a clue. <laughs> What was the band called before they were the Beatles? Uh, another one I don't know. I just got Beatles rock band too. I should uh, I should probably look that up. I don't I don't know. The long haired funky men. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not a clue. If I said the monkeys, I would be taken outside and killed by people who are here right now. Quarry men. Very good. Very good. First and then the silver side. Beatles. Who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? Yeah. Okay, I'm not wearing Vivian Westwood. Uh, I'm not wearing any uh, Dolce & Cabana. Uh, I'm not wearing any Thierry Mugler. I'm wearing some Fluvog shoes. I'm wearing some guest pants. And I'm wearing a shirt I designed for $10.99 off eBay. I am wearing... Guess? No. Oh, I thought I saw I'm that. I'm on me, actually. Armani actually, yes. No, you saw diesel underwear, oh, and diesel. then, um... <laughs> I saw the E in the S. Let's see what you're looking at. Banana Republic and Calvin Klein. Thanks for watching On the Street. My crew is ready to go to the Nick and watch a movie. I'm guessing Sesame Street when Big Bird attacks is not out yet. Oh well. We'll see you next time. I'm Giovanna, and I'll see you on the street. I'm sorry, I slurred that one. What is the name of the first building in America constructed solely for the purpose as used in the... Ah! Columbia, the capital... When I drink Corona, I can pronounce words better! <laughs>